Hi folks. Today we want to have a look at why the Holy Spirit, and more specifically the baptism in the Holy Spirit, is so important. Consider its prominence in the New Testament. In all four Gospels, Jesus is presented as the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Matthew and Luke's account add, and with fire. Fire being one of the chief symbols of the Holy Spirit. Jesus certainly gave it emphasis. During his preaching ministry, he declares, I came, why? To cast a fire upon the earth, and would that it were already kindled. Just before his betrayal, passion, and death, he spoke again about the coming of the Holy Spirit, saying, among other things, It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not, the Holy Spirit will not come to you. His final words on earth were about that same topic. Just before his return to the Father, he tells his disciples to remain in Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father. Before many days, he goes on, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. His final promise, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. The Catechism puts it as clearly as can be. Christ's Passover is fulfilled in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. In other words, without this baptism in the Holy Spirit, the life, passion, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus is incomplete. Incomplete. Evidently, the Holy Spirit was always part of God's plan, integral to God's plan. So, is it not reasonable to ask if the Holy Spirit is integral to our lives? Since the baptism in the Holy Spirit is so important to God, should it not be equally important to us? Of course it should. So, that begs a few final questions for the day. What exactly is the baptism in the Holy Spirit? How do you know if you've been baptized in the Holy Spirit? And if you're not sure, how can you be sure? Fabulous questions. We'll begin answering those in the next video.